guys I'm not gonna be up here long I'm gonna talk about a quick topic really quick <sighs> because this has been on my mind sexual trauma creates sexual confusion period I know that's just a broad statement but it's true the more research I do and the more people I talk to and the more videos I see and the more confessions people come out with and the more spiritual digging that I do I've come to realize that yeah well kind of already knew that but sexual trauma, sexual trauma or trauma period creates sexual confusion and gender confusion period I don't care what anyone says that's just what it is and if you have any hair of a brain in your head then you would already know that it doesn't matter what you are even if you're gay or bi it doesn't matter either way there's probably some sort of trauma in your life that caused that you all know my story already now think about it on another spectrum. Maybe it's not just sexual trauma. Because some people, you know, I hear a lot of people who have not been molested. They have not been molested or raped or anything. But they end up confused because of other reasons, if you know what I mean. It could be just as simple as um, a parent not paying attention to their child. It could be uh, parents not paying attention to their daughter and let's say they have other children as in there's maybe like one girl and maybe another boy and maybe there's more boys in the family than girls and the girl feels left out maybe she psychologically is messed up because she feels left out you know because I don't know I'm just trying to make up something things happen. You know, the parents might actually favor the son over the daughter without realizing it, and that causes problems in her head, and she's sitting there like, you know what, maybe my parents never wanted a girl, maybe my parents don't like girls, because I don't get much attention, maybe my parents just favor boys, maybe because boys are stronger, maybe that's what they really like, my parents probably don't love me because I'm a girl. You know, these are psychological things that happen. It's just a small example, but there's plenty of examples out there. There's plenty of examples as to why people have sexual confusion, a lot of sexual confusion, and gender confusion these days. It's so rampant and scary. These young people, really, really young people, people younger than me are going through so much as far as like transitioning, literally transitioning their bodies into the opposite gender because they haven't dealt with something. You know, there's something in their life that they have not dealt with. And it could be something really dramatic. It could be something where, um, maybe it's more psychological, like I said. It might be more of a mental thing, like, um, let's say, let's say a woman who, treats a child's father a certain type of way. Let's say they broke up and, you know, the child witnessed their mother bashing each man she got with child witnessed her bashing her dad and this other man, her aunt, I mean her uncle, cousin, boss, whoever, every man the woman contact comes in contact with, she has belittled and just done horrible things to because she just hates men because she might have been betrayed by one. Now the child watching this, the child's gonna be looking like, you know what? I don't wanna be a man. If she has a son and her son is watching that, he's not going to want to grow up and be a man. Because he's looking at how his mother treats men and how everybody else around him is being treated if they're a man. So guess what? He might feel like he has to transition into a woman just to get some respect. You know? It's a real thing. That's, that's These are things that people go through. There's a lot of scenarios. I see them all the time. I log them in my head and I, I research and I talk to people and y'all this shit's real, it's no joke. I mean, people don't just transition out of nowhere. People don't just want to change their entire sexual orientation for no reason. It's deeper than that, y'all. Look into the deeper reason. There's always a deeper reason. 
you know, um, in the um, trans community, there's still a high suicide rate, even within trans people. Now that alone should tell you something. You would think, okay, if a person wants to be trans and they fully, really fully believe that this is what they are supposed to do, why are there still suicide rates? Why are they still killing themselves? Why are they still, you know, not happy? They're not happy. Their inner happiness is non-existent. And there's a reason for that, y'all. <sighs> Just know. Face your inner demons. Any inner demons that are coming out of you. Any inner feelings. Any subconscious thoughts. Subconscious reactions. Any hurt that you believe you've experienced as a child. Anything. If you could think of any tiny little piece of anything. Factor that into how you act. Factor that into what you portray yourself as. And everything else. And I guarantee you, you'll start, you'll start realizing why you do certain things. Because it's important. It's hella important. This, the whole LGBT community is full of people who are just walking around with a bunch of hurt. I've already known that, but, you know, like I said, the more I do research, the more I just want to talk about it and get people aware, like, these people are hurting inside. I guarantee you, all of them have a story, whether they've been sexually abused or not. Some actually haven't. The majority have, unfortunately. The majority have been sexually abused or sexually exploited at some point, you know? But, um, there are people who haven't been. Like I said, it's just regular, everyday situations. They don't get enough attention. You know, combine that with the food we're eating. Come on. You know, the, the chemicals in the food we're eating, and the chemicals in our water, and the chemicals in the air. Man, you put all that shit together, you got a recipe for disaster. And it hits certain people, like, really hard. Like, it hits you like a ton of bricks. Sometimes. And, yeah, I mean... Something manifests, something that wasn't supposed to be there starts manifesting within you. And all of a sudden you're like, maybe this is who I am. And maybe it's not really who you are. It's just a combination of the trauma and the things that you have not dealt with. Like I said, combined with all the environmental effects on you. That cause you to be that way. So, I just wanted to say that, y'all. Like I said, I didn't want it to be a long video. I just want to say that because I have these thoughts in my head right now and, you know, hey, um, this is some food for thought. Let me know how you feel about the, these experiences or how you feel about what I said. Do you have any experiences of your own? Do you have any family members that are going through this? Any children? Any anything? Let me know your input and your experiences and your com comment down below. Like, share, and subscribe. Yeah, I'm... I'm going to get myself ready for the new year. So, yeah. I hope you guys are having a great day, second month, hour, minute, millennium, and century. <laughs> and thank you for watching. <laughs>